Do you remember the first time you stumbled upon the enchanting world of the Brady Bunch variety hour back in 1976? Ah, what a trip down the nostalgia lane that was. The Brady Bunch, our beloved bunch of blended siblings, took a bold leap from the confines of their iconic sitcom set into the dazzling realm of variety television. The result, a show that was equal parts nostalgia, kitsch, and sheer entertainment. As you reflect on those memorable moments, perhaps you recall the glittering stage, the groovy dance numbers, and those familiar faces that lit up your television screen. The Brady kids, resplendent in their 70 seconds glamour, sang and danced their way into our hearts. It was a glorious collision of two eras, as the quintessential 70 seconds met the wholesome 60 seconds. But wait, before we dive too deep into this groovy time capsule, let's sprinkle some fascinating facts into the mix. Did you know that the Brady Bunch Variety Hour only ran for a brief nine episodes? Or that it featured musical guests like Tina Turner and Rip Taylor? And yes, they even performed on roller skates. It was a spectacle of the disco era, like a glittering fever dream of polyester and platform shoes. So, as we journey through the glitter and glamour of the Brady Bunch Variety Hour, keep those fond memories close. Let's explore the quirks, charm, and sheer audacity of this unforgettable show together. Get ready to boogie back in time with us, because this is the Brady Bunch Variety Hour, where the past met pop culture in the most fabulous way possible. Way possible. Way po the Brady Bunch Variety Hour, a 1976 TV series, was an extension of the beloved sitcom The Brady Bunch. This spin-off brought the iconic Brady family into a new and unique format of variety show. The show retained the original cast, including the Brady kids and their parents, and it introduced musical and comedy performances. This blend of family sitcom and variety show created a distinctive style that showcased the Brady family's talents in singing and dancing. However, the show faced criticism for its departure from the original series and its over-the-top production. Despite mixed reviews, the Brady Bunch Variety Hour left an indelible mark on popular culture. It showcased the enduring appeal of the Brady family and became a cult classic, particularly for fans of the original show. The series reflected the 1970s fascination with variety shows, contributing to the era's entertainment landscape. In retrospect, it serves as a nostalgic reminder of a bygone television era and the enduring charm of the Brady family, making it a notable entry in the annals of television history. In the annals of television history, the 1976 TV series The Brady Bunch Variety Hour occupies a peculiar and oftentimes cringeworthy chapter. While this spin-off of the beloved Brady Bunch sitcom aimed to capitalize on the family's enduring popularity, it proved to be a production rife with challenges and oddities. Among them, the show's infamous swimming pool, measuring a staggering 45 feet in length, 25 feet in width, and with a depth of 5 feet and 8 inches, was a spectacle that left audiences bewildered. But perhaps one of the most intriguing aspects of this ill-fated variety show is the candid admission by Ann B. Davis, who played the beloved Alice Nelson in the original series. Davis, a consummate professional, felt that the Brady Bunch variety hour was such an unmitigated disaster that she steadfastly refused to discuss it in interviews. Her silence spoke volumes about the show's quality, or lack thereof, in the eyes of one of its central cast members. While the Brady Bunch Variety Hour may be best known for its kitschy musical numbers and surreal guest appearances, the dynamics among the cast members added an unexpected layer of drama behind the scenes. Jerry Reischel, who replaced Maureen McCormick as Marsha Brady for the Variety Hour, reportedly developed an overwhelming crush on her TV sibling. Christopher Knight, who portrayed Peter Brady. Their on-set chemistry, fueled by Reischel's infatuation, added an intriguing subplot to the already bizarre production. In the end, the Brady Bunch Variety Hour was a short-lived and often maligned experiment in television history. Despite its notable quirks and the enduring legacy of the Brady Bunch, this variety show serves as a testament to the challenges of transitioning beloved characters into new, and unfamiliar formats. In 1976, the Brady Bunch Variety Hour took an unexpected turn as it ventured into the world of variety television. This peculiar twist, however, was marked by behind-the-scenes drama, including the disavowal of the show's creator, Sherwood Schwartz. Sherwood Schwartz, the mastermind behind the beloved Brady Bunch series, stumbled upon the Brady Bunch Variety Hour in an unconventional manner. 
His son, Lloyd J. Schwartz, noticed the show listed in TV Guide, leading to an unusual discovery for the senior Schwartz. However, rather than embrace this new direction, Sherwood Schwartz distanced himself from the production, making it abundantly clear that he had no involvement with the show. This public disavowal by the series creator set a curious tone for the endeavor. One intriguing connection to the Brady Bunch variety hour can be found in the world of animation. The long-running animated series The Simpsons once parodied the Brady family's foray into variety TV in an episode titled The Simpsons Spin-Off Showcase. In the third segment of the show, The Simpson Family Smile Time Variety Hour, a character parallel to Jan was replaced, mirroring the casting changes on the Brady Bunch Variety Hour. This subtle nod to the Brady family's escapade underscores the enduring cultural impact of the original series. Among the cast, Christopher Knight, known for his role as Peter Brady, had an unexpected journey. Having left the Brady Kids singing group a few years earlier due to self-perceived musical limitations, Knight initially had no intention of participating in the Brady Bunch Variety Hour. However, with the absence of Eve Plum, who played Jan, the producers faced a quandary. In a bid to reunite the core cast, they promised Knight that his musical performances would be limited to the opening and closing numbers. However, this promise turned out to be a fabrication, and Knight found himself more involved in the musical aspects of the show than he had bargained for. The Brady Bunch Variety Hour stands as a unique chapter in television history, marked by the unexpected involvement of the Brady family in a variety show the disassociation of its creator, and even a playful homage in the world of animation. It serves as a testament to the unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry, where even beloved characters can find themselves in uncharted territory. In 1976, the Brady Bunch Variety Hour took the television world by storm, but behind the scenes, the show was embroiled in contractual battles and casting challenges. One of the most intriguing aspects of the show's history revolved around Eve Plum, who played Jan Brady. Eve Plum's involvement in the show was initially limited by her father's wishes. She agreed to participate in the pilot episode in five additional episodes. However, the network had grander plans. They insisted on a 13-episode contract with a five-year option, pushing Plum into a more extended commitment than she had initially intended. The drama didn't end there. When it came time to replace Eve Plum as Jan Brady, the casting process saw a staggering 1,500 girls auditioning for the role. The competition was fierce, but in the end, two finalists emerged, Kathy Hilton and Jerry Reischel. It was Jerry Reischel who ultimately won the part, stepping into the iconic role of Jan Brady. Behind the scenes, most of the cast members were well prepared for the show's weekly song and dance routines. The Brady kids had honed their choreography skills on set during the original show's run and even put on concerts between seasons. Florence Henderson, who played Carol Brady, had a professional singing background to her credit. However, Robert Reed, who portrayed Mike Brady, had a less graceful experience. According to Henderson, Bob had two left feet. This led to a decision to keep his choreography to a minimum, sparing him from the more intricate routines that the rest of the cast tackled with ease. The Brady Bunch Variety Hour remains a unique chapter in television history, marked by contractual negotiations, casting challenges, and the surprising dance talents of its ensemble. While it may not have achieved the same enduring fame as the original series, it certainly left an indelible mark on the world of television entertainment. An entertainment. An ent in the pilot episode of the Brady Bunch Variety Hour, a TV series that graced screens in 1976, the primary sets dazzled with a lacquered, gaudy, multicolored glitter. However, as the show transitioned into full production, substantial changes were made. The exuberant color palette was reined in, and the glitter that had initially bedazzled the sets was, surprisingly, eliminated. This decision marked a notable shift in the show's visual aesthetic. The Brady Bunch family, who had become household names through their previous series, were now navigating a variety show stage with a more understated backdrop. The shift in set design served as a symbolic departure from the Brady family's more conventional sitcom roots into the glitzy world of variety television. While the Brady Bunch Variety Hour featured the return of the original cast of the Brady Bunch, there was one notable exception. Eve Plum, who portrayed Jan Brady in the original series, was replaced by Jerry Reischel. 
This casting decision raised eyebrows among fans, but it was a calculated move by the show's producers to ensure the presence of a Brady sibling on the variety show. Interestingly, Jerry Reischel, who stepped into the role of Jan, faced her own challenges during the production. In a show that featured numerous dance numbers around a swimming pool, Reischel admitted that she couldn't swim. This created a palpable sense of nervousness for her, as the potential of falling into the water was a real concern. Despite this, Reischel persevered and became an integral part of the show's unique blend of music, comedy, and dancing. In retrospect, the Brady Bunch Variety Hour remains a memorable chapter in the Brady family's television journey. From the glittery sets that initially dazzled audiences to the casting choices and challenges faced by the actors, it is a piece of television history that continues to intrigue and captivate fans of the beloved Brady Bunch. 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 As we bid adieu to the nostalgic journey through the 1976 TV series, the Brady Bunch Variety Hour, we invite you to take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with this iconic show. This glittering gem in the annals of television history brought together the beloved Brady family in a whole new way, and perhaps it found a special place in your heart. The Brady Bunch Variety Hour was more than just a TV show. It was a cultural phenomenon that celebrated family, fun, and the power of laughter. The quirky musical numbers, the glittering costumes, and the undeniable chemistry of the Brady Bunch cast, it all came together to create a unique viewing experience that has stood the test of time. Now, we encourage you to share your thoughts and memories about the Brady Bunch Variety Hour. Did you have a favorite musical performance? Were there moments that left you in stitches, or perhaps moments that tugged at your heartstrings? How did this show impact your life or pop culture in general? Your unique perspective adds depth to the rich tapestry of memories associated with this series, and we'd love to hear from you. Feel free to share your thoughts and engage with fellow fans who also hold a special place in their hearts for the Brady Bunch Variety Hour. Thank you for taking the time to reminisce about this classic series with us. Your interest and passion for timeless television are truly appreciated. Warm regards.